Shushu, wamesema hakuna harusi. Kwa nini? Hapana. Shushu, mamia harusi ya shushu. Mamia endelea. Nani ya nasipabicha harusi? Ni kofi. Ni kofi ya kofi. Kofi. Miki brea rekoti tu streami wedu. Mfari kwa bora fundo na kona fiku. Nasema, safari kwa mikola free data kila siku. Sasa tunaweza kustream hiwe tu. Hai Shosho. You make it the bribes. Hadi 500 MB free kila siku Piga star 544 hash na uchagure unlock free data Mwelekeo ni internet Hi everyone, this is Radu Live. Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to talk about volleyball. Yes. And uh, with me is someone I am calling the future of Malkia Strikers. Or should I say the present and the future of Malkia Strikers. None other than Sharon Ch Chumba, aka Chumba Bariako. Mzuri sana. Uh, Sharon, you are, that's a lot of pressure, eh? You are the future of Malkia Strikers. True or false? It's true. True. First of all, for those who've never met you or those who've never, I think they've seen you because of your performances at the Tokyo Olympics. Yeah. I remember you with your red hair mm -hmm. and being very vicious on the ball like this. <laughs> but for people who've never known you, give us a background on Sharon Chepchumba. Where did you grow up? When, you did, when did you decide volleyball is what I want to do with my life? Yeah? Uh, Sharon Chepchumba Kiprono is a symbol girl from... I can't say a bad background, but... Challenging. Yeah, challenging. Mm. Uh, I grew up in Kitale. I was, I was like, uh, I was playing football. I was a goalkeeper. Football? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was a goalkeeper at St. Teresa Starter Girls mm -hmm. when I joined high school and primary also I was playing football. So there's this one neighbor of mine I uh, was playing volleyball at Kwantanze High School in Machakos. So she was like, hey, you have a height, you can join us. Hey, me with volleyball is a no, I can't yeah. play volleyball. Then she was like, no, you can just go try. And it was um, off season, like it was December. So I went there just trying, and it was like one month. So I trained with them. I was this like, my mind was still in football because <laughs> uh, yeah. I didn't want to leave football. So I trained for one week and when we opened uh, Form 2, I was in Form 1 by that time. Literally from Form 2. Eh, then my dad was like, I well, we volleyball. And also the principal, Wakondanzi Aliona, he had to say, you height is the end of 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 the so we went for East African Games, but me sikwa na cheza cause by that time I didn't know anything. So coach ali nibeba like for exposure and to see people, the way they play, so that I can just get that passion, you know. I, w I just watch. When I came back uh, third term, nilitia BD cause I was like, muna nilipia school fees, I have to train, I have to forget about football. So uh, I really train hard. Uh, I joined uh, from three and Nikaitoa kwa first six, a uh, mm -hmm. yeah, team from three when I was in form three. By that time, Tuli Chazana Soweto, we were beaten like badly. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even go to the nationals. Mm -hmm. So we had to go and watch uh, the nationals games, Wakicheza, but as we were out, mm -hmm. so that was in form three. Then in form four, and Kasama, I can't, I can't just finish form four. 
na bila kupatia shule cup na wamekuwa kiwi ni tonli when and they were paying for you school fees yeah because of volleyball yeah and yet they've not even seen you play, play properly yet yeah that's a lot of faith in you <laughs> <laughs> so um form for nikai kabidi like with my teammates so to catch the nationals we set a score of 303030 mm -hmm. and we thank god we managed to <laughs> to get that scores cuz actually cheza from uh zonals to east africa with 3030 the scores then i was a match as the mvp most valuable player both nationals and east african yeah. games <laughs> that was the beginning of your most valuable player career. Yeah. Yeah. So that that was which school? It was Kwandanze. Kwandanze in Machakos. In Machakos. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you finish school and decide this is what I want to do with my life. So before I finished school, uh, I saw so many players, so many volleyball players, which I was admiring while I was in football. Mm -hmm. Like uh, there were so many players I was looking up to. Like I could say, hey, I want to be like Wanja. Despite me playing volleyball, but I want to be like Wanja, like Despite I want to be an football, athlete. Be like yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I want to be an athlete hey, like Wanja or Washu or Moim. Mm -hmm. So, nilikuwa bado na ile tama. You see, so I think it's something that ilifika nikiwa form three after we were beaten. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, eh, I have to forget about football. Now, I have to concentrate with volleyball. You so, got the bug. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then I was like, eh, hey, I was on and lipia school fees. You know, there are so many people who have a chance kama mm -hmm. Like, so many parents are struggling because of school fees. So I was like, eh, hey, I have to wekele a BD kwanza. Jew. I don't have any option. Mm -hmm. So Nikeka BD and from four when I finished from four, um, I wanted to join prison. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, prison, prison was my dream, uh, dream club. Team. Yeah, my dream club. So I was like, hey, if I finish school, I want to join prison. So and I thank God because uh, prison coach was training with us while I was in high school. So. Ali develop interest kwangu, so nika kwa na easy chance neza join prison. So after school, I joined prison. That was 2018. And just just so people know, prison and pipeline, those are the two big clubs in, in, <laughs> in KCB. In <laughs> KCB. KCB in recent years, and now KCB is overtaking everyone because of the investment they're putting. Yeah. Which we'll, which we'll get to. <laughs> so you joined prisons? Yeah, so I joined prison 2018 and I really trained hard and I was chosen among those who traveled to go for club championship. It was in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Nikapatele Chanzia Kocheza and from that Ndonilionyesha I'm capable of playing and I can be a good player. So I was called the first call up uh, 2018 it was World Cup in Japan. Mm -hmm. So they were calling players to come and join a national team. So they called me and my teammate, uh, my schoolmate. She's called Lorin Chebet. Mm -hmm. We were from the same school and we, re we also joined the same club. So we were called that 2018 and we went for training. So there, you know, kuna my legends kwa game. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, hey, I was here you at all, but I, I have to put more effort because Mimi ni junior, lazima ni kwena effort. At least coach ato na yo effort aseme, ah, uyu junior lazima to fix pali ju akona effort. So I did, I did my effort, my level best, and uh, Pia God akona so I was choose I was choose among those who traveled to Japan for World Cup, and that was my first match to play. And At that the World was Cup. Yeah. For Malkia Strikers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you not played in were they even friendlies that year? I don't know. No. I think no. You. Yeah, no. I remember we were trying to raise money for the team at the time, so you can get <laughs> some friendlies, but. By that time, mm. we didn't go for any. So baptism of fire at the World Cup. Yeah, we well, were beaten. I remember. I remember my first match. I was scared because I've never seen those people. I've never met them, and you know. Akina Masi, Washu. No, Akina, not my team or now. The competition. Uh, the competition. Mm -hmm. So and you know, like Akina Masi, it's big names. Like Akina Washu, they are inside. They are playing, but we are we are being beaten. And I'm like, coach is calling us. We are like, we are juniors. <laughs> we, we can't go because <laughs> we are, we have already feared them. Like. 
if Mercy is being beaten, where, where, uh, who is me? Yeah. So I just, then I just gained courage. I was like, I have nothing to lose. Me, I'll just go there. I will Experience. play. Yeah, mm. I will play. I will just play my level best. And I thank God we went there as juniors and we really performed well. We get 17 out of 25, which it was mm. hard. So from there, I nikamwa tu nikasema asa. This is what I want. I will just go for it. So 2019 again, the call up, the call up came and I was called again for. Not even 2018, we went for World Championship still. It was mm -hmm. World Cup and World Championship. Then 2019 for qualifiers, uh, Olympics qualifiers, all African games. I went there, I was emerged as the best player. The qualifiers for Olympics, that was January, uh, d January, January 2020. Yeah, mm -hmm. 2020. At ah, the end of Last 2020, year, yeah. 2021. Mm -hmm. 2020, yeah, 2020. So we played, despite injuries and stuff, Nikambia to God, come on in party talent, we have to qualify for Olympics. And I thank God to really qualify, to manage Kwenda Pale, to get experience, and it was a good experience. Tell me about, I want to take you back to the first time you're called, you're going to play for World Championships, you're going to be a Malkia Strikers. What went through your mind when you, you received a phone call, or how did it happen? I want to know what you're feeling at that moment. Okay, the call up came while we we finished uh, the league. We were at Kasarani mm -hmm. and we were playing uh, the end league. The so playoffs, it's uh, playoffs, playoffs yeah. at the end of the season. So after the playoffs oh, in Zilish and Wakanza Kuita Wakasema, there are some players when you're to represent Komalika Strikers, Alaf Wakanza Kuita. But then I was shocked at first because I was like, ah, uh uh. -uh. Juu siku kwata yu time nimejiamini kane za ito Malikia Strikers. But wakati eh, nilifika hapo nikasema, ay kumbe can make it. And from there nikambia mungu, thank, nitazidi kukaza. Because for the longest time, Malikia Strikers, the team barely changed. It was mm -hmm. the same six players, Mercy, Triza, Washu, Janet, although Janet left. Uh, what was the other lady's name? So yani, it's like the team had its owners. Yeah. And we even used to wonder in the media when are we going to begin to groom the next generation of players mm -hmm. so i can imagine for you you're thinking i'll never get into this team <laughs> yeah so um what uh, what did you learn from them though the experienced players because they did us proud for so many years yeah you know at first as a junior player and you see like already if you come with the mentality that uh mass is too big mm. like you will do nothing but you if you accept mass is big but you feel like in your heart you want to say like i want to be like mercy like everything will just flow and um i learned something from them mm -hmm. they are those people who will want like if if they feel like um ile opportunity akukwa mchezaji mzuri mm -hmm. they will push you push you push you hard mm -hmm. so nilipata hiyo support and it really helped me cuz i was Messi really like pushed yeah cuz i was really pushed mm -hmm. yeah Messi is, as a captain she's very uh, she's nice <laughs> she's is she nice. aggressive very <laughs> she's aggressive yeah to get that good and to she was, she's been captain for a long time yeah. and she's remained at the top of her game for a long time yeah that, that, that means she's a, a hard worker. You were mentioning how you were, you, you were at the World Championship in Tokyo, you were losing games 17, 18. I think people don't understand when they watch volleyball, they see, ah, Malkia were beaten 3 0. Yeah. They don't look at the score line that you're beaten 22, 21, 20, 25, 21, sorry, 25, 18, you know. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it shows that we are growing yeah. and, and we're not as far behind as people see. Yeah. So, I mean, does it, does it frustrate you sometimes that as fans, people don't really understand the game? So they just crucify you, you're beaten 3-0. Yeah, it does, it, it frustrates. But at the end of the day, you have to accept the reality. Mm. Okay, all the players are not um, perfect, you know. And in a game, there's always a winner and a loser. So if you are not going to uh, accept that you are a loser, like nothing will happen because you won't work hard. And, and if you win, and also if you're not going to accept your results, again, you won't work, 
uta work hard so what i can say is eh uh, tukifika pale uko majuu kucheza hizo games it's mm. really hard like it's hard cause you know like uh, most of the players were uh, majuu they started training while they are young they have basic they have everything mm -hmm. and as you get like for example me ni little wa football nikiwa already niko big niko form one you you you, you would have been a harambe talent yeah <laughs> so i was already big kwanza mm -hmm. kufunza mtu asha grow tena mm -hmm. uh, kumwekea hizo volleyball nini yes mtu atashika but hizo basic zote ni hard ku kupata mm -hmm at that time but you know if you ukianza kufunza mtoto it's like a football kianza kufunza mtoto wa football akiwa mdogo akiwa mkubwa skills zenye atakuwa nazo zitakuwa mob mm -hmm. eh, na atajua hata kunini ki game plan so i think vitu tuna lack is sisi vile tunaanzisha kutrainiwa tukiwa young unapata mtu ana train hata maybe alimaliza university ndio akaona hey i can play volleyball na kuja within three months anaingia kwa volleyball tunaenda tunacheza and then you don't have those basic skills uh, you don't have yeah the basic skills so mm, i think hiyo yeah. ndio vitu zenye wale players wa majua na tushindianga and that's when unaweza pata you can do your best but <laughs> you end up just losing but we also learn from them uh, pia kupitia wale hizo games zenye tunacheza tukirudi huku hivi mm. tunakuja ku perfect pole pole that's why that's why we keep on improving each and every game tell me about your experience at the olympics because it's not an easy feat to get to play in an olymp it's every athlete's dream first playing in olympics it was a dream come, come through because i really fought like my team really fought like that qualification mm what were you pigania ju like was sure saying eh i've never gone to olympics i've been playing like for so many years na tulikuwa bado hatujai qualify like we have to do this we have to qualify for this then you see like wanja vile alienda olympics anatuambia eh olympics ni kuzuri huko ukienda it's very nice so you 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 feel that feeling unaona eh manze pia mimi nataka ku qualify niende kwa olympics so vile tuli qualify tulienda olympics it was really a nice experience and if you are someone when you need learn we really learned a lot like vitu mingi tulisoma kutokana na different players how athlete anatakana kujibeba vitu mob sana apart from just volleyball it was really a nice experience and you you were shining <laughs> you were the shining light of malkia strikers huh? what I what, what is, i mean thinking you came from football volleyball wasn't your first choice but here you are in a team with so many good players but at the end of the olympics it was chumba 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 so do, is it that you work extra hard do you get to training fast how how have you managed to cultivate that skill to the level you're at right now okay what i can just say is i really i really trust myself and i believe in myself that's one thing if even if today if you tell me like tomorrow you will play mm. i'll just m set my mind tomorrow i'm going to play i think that is the thing that in anifanya in any push ki game mm. ju i'm this one person maybe i cannot be straightforward sana kwa mazoezi <laughs> which is very hard so, to so many players sometimes mm -hmm. but ile ikifika uniambia this game is crucial you have to play i will just set my mind and i will play I will go pray I tell God please this is my <laughs> my match please naomba ni perform no so kuna tu ile spirit flani ko in me uwe ina ni push mm -hmm. uh. and I, I notice your build you're not really built like a volleyballer because <laughs> they're all very slim very slim and tall eh? but you you're a little bit you 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 have more power you seem to have more power is that an advantage Yeah it's really an advantage cause uh just to be honest me receiving mm. it's a bit hard for me mm -hmm. like I can't receive like Moim mm -hmm. you see like mm -hmm. Moim can still attack and receive can serve well and but for me now go person I could receive ball but I still play so my advantage is I'm tall I'm powerful I'm strong so 
Awa receive pia mimi nipate ile moja nikigonga it's powerful and you know. I have to get that that video <laughs> where you're just smashing the ball. <laughs> and which team was that you were playing? Cameroon. It was Cameroon, eh? Yeah. During Olympics. During Olympics, no, it was we played with Japan. There's a team you were playing during Olympics. Brazil. You just smash the ball. We were, <laughs> I even reshared it on social media. I was like, what? This girl <laughs> is on fire. Yeah? yeah. So how far do you want to go with, with, with volleyball? Because I mean it's great to see that it, it paid for your school fees, you've you've got into a club. Now you're at KCB. KCB, yeah. How did you move from, from prisons to KCB? Okay, from prison I went to K uh, Kenya Pipeline. Mm. I played in Kenya Pipeline for one year. And mm -hmm. I moved to KCB. So when I was in the pipeline, I was going to pass the chapter. I was going to pass the chapter. I Ndiyo mm. watu yuetu wa sikuje kwa na yeah, shida. Yeah. For, footballers so, watch, for football fans watching, it's like she moved from Arsenal to, to, to Manchester United and now she's at Man City. <laughs> 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 Just, I'm putting it in football context. Yeah. Simply because KCB, mm. KCB, I think it's in the last year or two years, mm -hmm. they've decided to actually take all their sports more seriously. Yeah. From Okay, rugby, they've always been serious. Football, they've started putting a bit of more in investment, but volleyball, they've really made a big investment in volleyball, getting the best coaches. Yeah. Yeah? Tell me about your experience at KCB, and because you're working with, I think the national team coach is there, uh, what's his name, the team manager is there for national team, Moim is there. So I can just say in KCB, st I still feel like I'm home, because mm. those people who are in KCB still work on national team. So, and still, you can appear pipeline, you can half of them, but do work on But the big advantage is that uh, we still have this, uh, the same coaches for national team, kwa club yet. So you get like KCB, we have a big advantage mm. as players, and also you get more comfortable, like, uh, if you go to the national team, you get the same coach is training you in the club is the same coach. So unapata, it's easy for you to to so grow to fast and, and yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want us to I want us to take a short break and then I want us to I want us to discuss what your hopes and dreams are for Kenya volleyball. Where do you want to see Kenya volleyball doing and what you need from people like us, from media, from fans, <laughs> from government, so that we take the sport to the next level. Let's take a short break. Wameron, nasikia ulijaribu kuwekelea kuingine. Wee, wacha ni wambie. Kamu wa kujaribu. Kwenda kuwekelea hivi ni kasia. Ku, ku. Bados, sikaisha. Nika wekelea mothi bets. Ikiwa imebaki game moja. Nika sikia tena. Ku, timu yangu imepigwa. Kwenda kutafuta kasha. Hakuna. Hakuna. Nika amu wa kutoa hile tupesa kidogo ilikuwa imebaki kwa account. Nika sikia tena. Ku. Go! With no charges, you can pick a Nika Shidwa! Kwani Nika Itigine! Jiunga na betika leo na uenjoy kubet bila bundles. Cash out. Free withdrawals. And so much more. Betika. Chukwala mabingo. Welcome back. This is Radul Live, and I am with Sharon Chipchumba, aka Chumba. <laughs> Malkia Strikers, the future of our volleyball. In fact, the present and the future, because you're already making waves now. Huh? First of all, how did Chumba is just short for Chipchumba? Yeah. Everyone calls you Chumba on yeah. the court. Yeah, true. Yeah. Before the break, we were talking a bit about your club, about KCB. Yeah. And just to mention, what I like about what K KCB is doing now is actually making a conscious investment. Because yeah. a lot of these corporates, they get CSR teams, mm -hmm. and then it's just a CSR. They're not actually paying attention, but I like what they're doing. So do they employ you, or do they pay you a salary, or they pay you just to play volleyball? How does it work? Oh, according to KCB, mm. if uh, umesoma na vitu zina deal na the Banking. bank, mm. yeah, it's easy for you to get employment. But uh, tunapatiwa contract, 
Mm -hmm. Like, f for example, me, I was given a three-year contract and it's renewable. As long as you are still in KCB, they can still renew your contract. Mm. Yeah, and for those uh, when you are mesoma peer and you come be what I get opportunity, I could go enroll kwa job, but mm. you are a player and still but don't work na KCB. KCB because Kitabo, when I was telling you that pipeline and prisons are the big teams for the last couple of the last decade plus, those are the teams that have been winning. Yeah. But recently, KCB, what what position were you last season? Two. Last season you finished second. Yeah. So now is uh, the the fruits of the investment are beginning to show, and they have Chepchumba in their ranks. <laughs> How about that? So, um, what are your hopes and dreams for volleyball? Where would you like to see the sport go? Uh, first for myself, I would, uh, I really love to play uh, professional. Mm -hmm. I would really love to play to play professional. For now, I've been getting offers, but. Uh, she just said only Ellen Kasema like I'm good enough to go for professional. I still have to work on some things. Najua just to be a professional player, mm -hmm. you must have the qualities and what is need of you. For example, I saw the professional players that were playing at at the Olympics and I was like, I really need to work more hard. So Niki Tokwa team flani, a big team, at least Nenda Kusho results. So I've just give give myself like one year, one more year to be in Kenya and to really, really work hard so that I can fit in the shoes of, of a professional player. See, so mm -hmm. I feel I feel like um, I'm not just a local player and no one is a local player. As players, we have to set standards and also we have to know like if you really need to... Uh, uh, kuzidisha kariya yako mm -hmm. lazimo uko meset standard na ujue ni nini unataka in future and also uh, ningependa like those upcoming players wenye wanakuja they be like eh chumba alichezea Kenya kashine akaenda professional akashine i really want to be like her mm -hmm. i just want to set an example and it's possible. Yeah. I mean, we've seen so many of our players from yeah. Wanja, Washu, yeah. all playing international football in, in, in Eastern Europe, in the Middle East. Um, and uh, personally, eh, the way I watch you and the way you play, mm -hmm. I think it's very possible. But I would also like, mm -hmm. and this is me talking, and I'm not a volleyballer, <laughs> for us to make our league more professional, you know, yeah. so that people can even get paid properly in all the clubs. Because right now we only know of three volleyball clubs, yet there's a whole league that happens. Would you like to see that as well, the level? Because maybe if we raise the whole level of our league, it will also raise the level of the national team. Yeah, for example, like I can just say, like you see, we always go play outside the country indoors. Mm. But uh, here in Kenya, we play outdoors. So you get at some point when we want to go play, Lazima to Patele chance ya kuingizwa indoors to anzetana ko train, but we've been playing our league outdoor. Mm, so mm. at least if we advance from outdoor and all our leagues to be played indoors and to make sure that we register the clubs that Piona Takaku participate kwa yo nini league. I am very sure like uh, Kenya it has zidi it and vizuri sanana volleyball. What is uh, Paul B talk like as a coach? <laughs> Despite being a coach, he's also a father to many mm -hmm. in the team. He's also like a brother to some of the players that have been there for long. I can say he is a kind man. And ni mtu anataka kabisa kama anona uko capable of being a good player, ataku push really hard. Yeah. Because I interviewed him here a couple of months ago, and I think with his experience, he was in Rwanda for some time, yeah, mm -hmm. and then came back. He seemed to have a really good plan for Kenyan volleyball. The problem is whether Kenyan volleyball will give him the, and like what you mentioned about training outdoors, yet all your matches are indoors. There's certain demands I think he's made of the federation and of the government in terms of facilities which is unfortunately not happening. And I think it's frustrating him a little bit because I'm sure he knows what is it, what can take Kenyan volleyball to the next level. 
Because it's not that much. When you look at those girls in the international scene, yeah. the difference is not that much, is it? Yeah, yeah. We have the talent. Yes, we have. We just and don't nurture it. You know, African girls, we are strong, naturally strong. Mm. Yeah. So you see, like for me, I started gymming last year when I joined KCB. I was not sick when I joined KCB, but I wait. Lenza ko coach fila tuna pigana na ya apo lakini sai ato kini peleka kubeba weight sezi complain. So neza sema like despite yo kuto gym na nini yote I was still strong. So I believe like sisi kama Kenyan ladies we are naturally strong. So mm -hmm. if we just add like little things zile zenye tunapata hizo basic hizo vitu ndogo ndogo and we get our mindset to train ya indoors everything we do it's indoors i'm very sure like tutenda pale and it will it will show a big different mm -hmm. and in terms of investment sponsorship do you have any dreams of because your league is not sponsored is it it's just individual clubs that are sponsored yeah yeah that are sponsor owner so what would you like to tell corporate Kenya who's watching? If anyone is watching, what would you like to tell them? To come and sponsor the national team or to sponsor Gaudi as an individual. We see athletes getting branded all the time. Yeah, yeah? you know, that is part of motivating someone. If maybe, let's say, you come and you take a junior player, you sponsor her. Because mm -hmm. I'm very sure not everyone uh, comes from a good background. Konyumbani. Kila mtu wakona challenges. Like, if you get someone ameji commit kwa game, meaning, like, lazima kuna kitu ina mpush, aka kwa sport person. Anataka kuwak really hard in their side, maybe wazazi nyumbani. So if you get like to mepata hizo sponsorship peers zina to encourage like to work more hard and kujua like we have those people who support us at least peer mind yangu itakuwa like eh hey, huyo ameni support so lazima ni seem let down. So if there are some offers and you you really feel like you can come and sponsor us feel free. <laughs> feel free. Yeah. In terms of your career now you've gone for one Olympic um, I like to think you've got over the jitters of one <laughs> Olympic. Um, the target, your target, more Olympic Games, more World Championships, more yeah. titles, more MVPs, because you're always the MVPs uh, in African tournament. I, I can say I've just started. Uh -huh. So I just pray God, I endelekunipatia yonguvu na the same game, ni improve kidogo, because I still have so many things and so many dreams to achieve in volleyball. So watch this space. <laughs> Chumba is coming. Yes. Watch this space. Yes. All right. Well, that's uh, that's it for now. If you have, if there are any young girls watching, what would you like to tell them if they want to be like Chumba when they grow up? Uh, I would just like to tell them, first of all, you have to love yourself. If mm -hmm. you love yourself, you know what you want in life. As long as you have that... Uh, self love self respect like it will it will just push you like hakuna mtu atakuja kukusukuma akwambie chumba do this you will just do it hakuna mtu atakwambia chumba you have to choose between this and this you will just choose for yourself so nezaambia and also hard work hard work is very important in a person's life cuz if you're not working hard and if you're not doing something you're just seated there like Akuna kitu inakuja too easily. You have to go through a, a lot of challenges so that to become a, a better person. Or at a earning squeeze is like mm -hmm. you get so many people on mesoma and still they can't get jobs. So wewe kama unona ukona hiyo opportunity ya kukua mchezaji and you feel like uneza kwa mchezaji, you, put, you need to put more effort like you need to die for it. Like sometimes you know books zineza kuangusha. Like most of the players ama most of the athletes, sometimes unapata not everyone anakuanga very sharp. So if people are different. Yeah, you have people, talents in yeah, different areas. Yeah. 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 So if you feel like you're not very sharp and you feel like I can be sharp in sports. Just do focus. it. Yeah, focus and do it. And the, uh, it will just give you the results. Do you miss football? Yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do, but now no go pass and ako when ya football. It's it's like rugby to nyambe and kwa rugby. I can't. <laughs> Nezenda ku watch but I can't play. You can't go back to play. 
No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're talking about football, which team do you support? In the Kenyan, in the FKF Premier League? <laughs> KCB. <laughs> <laughs> you think that because you're of your employer? No, I love KCB. <laughs> KCB right now are playing in, they're in NSL, they're, they're not here. See, they were relegated. It's okay, but yeah. I still support them. <laughs> anyway, you're employed there. I won't, <laughs> I won't put you on the spot. <laughs> and in, 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 in English Premier League? Manu. <laughs> and the way this conversation was going so well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. um, uh, Chumba, I just want to tell you thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Remain focused. We are watching you. You're doing a fantastic job. Thank you. We was, I was stalking you during the Olympics. You don't know, but we were all stalking you during the Olympics <laughs> with your red hair. Uh, what happened to the red hair? How much for competition? It's for competition. It's for competition. Yes. Otherwise, you're incognito. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much for coming. Thank I you. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Yes. We'll keep talking about uh, volleyball and now we can take it to the next level. Um, and thank you guys, as usual, for watching Radu Live every Saturday, loyally. Loyal? Loyal? Is that a word? <laughs> yes, being loyal to the show. Um, but we'll see you again next week when we'll have another great conversation with another superstar. <laughs> a superstar. Remember that name, Sharon Chepchumba. Yes. Bye bye. Bye. You're a superstar.